climate change is very much upon us and that's why we need a system of agriculture production which is a, which has a resilience to this uh, this type of the climate change and so uh, certainly a, 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 a farming uh, uh, pattern or a crop pattern which is a consistent with the factor endowment of the region in fact india's traditional farming system was la our, our indigenous farming system was the low external input uh, sustainable agriculture because what you were doing was you using the local seed or home saved seed uh, the local compost or uh, i mean compost that you have made uh, from the uh, cow, cow dung manure agriculture residues then there was a low uh, organic pest control through agronomic practices so i mean this is well, uh, i mean it may go by one name here another name there but in essence it is a ecologically sound uh, and sustainable farming that we need to propagate and mixed farming was a big insurance which is given go, uh, go by in the wake of green revolution and this monocrop agriculture and uh, please understand that uh, the punjab uh, which produces 7 tons per hectare is in the Uh, is in the as much crisis and there also farmers are committing suicide uh, what happened in marathwada and in maharashtra and many other drought prone areas you are growing crops which are water guzzling like a sugar cane crop uh, which is only for 4 or 5% of the uh, crop area but it takes 60 70% of the water and all other crops they are starving of the waters so this is a just a irrational or rather a uh, very uh, resource squandering use of water which is being uh, pursued there and there is the need that now the sugar cane has become the villain of peace in the area all drinking water problems is uh, because the you are mining too much ground uh, water without recharging it and that's why what we uh, have referred to earlier a scientific rainwater harvesting program or community based rainwater harvesting program is the need of the hour